Thank you for tuning into our YouTube channel, Cape Coral Cell Phone Repair TV. And if you are repairing cell phones, particularly iPhones, this is one of the tools that you need to have. And the reason is because with the newer iPhones, when you replace a battery, you're going to have to transfer the DMS data, which is the information that's on the top of the battery where the connectors go. And you would also need to use a programmer such as Kianli or JC to also assist with that. But we're going to talk just today only on the hardware part, which is actually transferring that over and what you need. We're not going to go into fine detail on doing it, but we're going to go into what you need to be able to do it. And we'll probably do a little quick test for you so you know how to do this. I know when people see the word welder, they, they get scared. They think that, you know, I can make something catch on fire. Not the case. These, this is a spot welder, very safe to use. And it's one of those things that you're gonna need to be able to get the job done. Now, do you need these huge spot welders that you have seen? No, this is a portable one and it does the job just fine. So this is made by Kian Lee, and it has the two terminals. It also brings, I guess, a little sander, metal sander, if you need to get any weld off, I guess you can use this. And it also came with this. You have a few, a little bit of the welding material, and we're gonna just show you how we can use this just to practice today as well. So let's get the box out of the way and put it to use. Just make sure it is charged. If it's not, then of course you would need to charge it. And let's see, right here, it's a USB-C port. You connect this to the wall using a block charger and it will charge it for you. Just make sure your battery lights here are all the way. So let's go over this real quick so you know what's going on. So the first four lights here will tell you how your battery is, the battery status, self-explanatory. All four, that means your battery's full, and then anything less than that, you know you need to charge it. And then you have two little lights here. One shows you manual and one automatic. I prefer using the automatic when it comes to welding because as soon as these two points make contact, you could just keep one there, nothing's gonna happen, but as soon as the second one makes contact, it'll apply the weld, that's the automatic. If you go with the manual and you wanna be the one that activates the quote unquote weld then you would need to use this manual spot welding button here now this is a little bit hard to do when you got both hands tied on, on the two welding points like this you could kind of have it somewhere then press the button yourself but if you just have one down and then touch the spot with the other one if you have it on auto on automatic it'll apply the weld that's my favorite but again the manual is there if you want to do it, you know, knock yourself out. And then of course you have the intensity of the weld. Obviously all the way over here it's a stronger weld, over here it's a smaller or lighter weld. Just for doing the battery, I'm going to recommend that you do the fourth one right here. I think that's the way I had already set it up. So let's go ahead and connect it and do a little practice round for you just so you can see so you can be confident that this is not a dangerous thing to use and we'll take it from there so we're going to turn it on and to turn it on all you have to do is just like it tells you down there at the bottom hold this button for two seconds that's your power so we're going to hold it down one two and it's on and just as you can see there we have our level four which is our intensity of the weld our battery is full you can see all the four lights and watch what happens when I press this button once you see how it changes to manual I don't want it on manual I want it on automatic so my weld will be automatic as soon as the two points make contact with the device I'm welding it's gonna apply the weld now if you look closely here there's a plastic sleeve that's clear and that's to keep these two from making contact with each other and creating a spark or a weld so that's a safety thing now if they start to wear out over time just go ahead and use some electrical tape and wrap it or apply it and that'll keep it safe for you 
but uh, you want to store these in a place where they're not going to get cut, scratched, or anything like that, and just make it easier for you to maintain them that way. So we're going to put that there, put these two here, and just like I mentioned, we got a little bit of material. We're just going, we cut two parts off of it and we're going to put them down like this. We're just going to let them overlap each other and we're going to apply a weld. So let me just zoom in a little bit and do that. Okay. So notice that I'm going to use the first one and just hold it down. Nothing's happening. But as soon as I get the next one down, it's going to apply the weld. And notice that I'm going to try to get it as close as I can to the other point just to make it happen. You see that? And you saw a little spark. And that's a weld. But obviously I missed the area, so let's just try it over here again. Like I said, we're just doing a little practice round so you guys can see how it works. Let's do that here. And here we go. And it just happened. So see that? And you can see how it went just over the mat, no big deal. But there it is. The first one is the one I missed, but here it is. And, oh, there you go. So if you pull it hard enough, you will break the weld. Again, you can change the intensity of the weld and watch this. I'm gonna put it on level five. Let's try another area here. And try that again. So there we are, and here we go. There it is. There it is. So if you wanted to practice this, let's say on a battery, and one thing you're gonna need with the battery is after you transfer the BMS data to your new battery that you're putting on the iPhone, you're gonna to need to uh, wake up the battery and you're gonna to need to have one of these uh, battery here go, activation boards. I got a few of them lying around, the older ones, and then as the new phones started coming out, started getting more and this one goes I think up to 11 and 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max and then and so forth now you're not gonna get many 12 and 13s now but eventually you will so you will need to get the different boards to have for the newer phones but it's good to have one of these activation boards maybe in the future I'll do another more detailed video on the whole process but this is just showing you what you need to be able to get this done